We got our first guest, man. Who we here with today, man? Man, it's one way stepping. We outside with my man Craig. I mean, we inside, but you know, you know how that go. We got my man one way Stefan now. Where you from, bro? Where you from, Stefan? I'm from uh like the Philly area. Like I don't live directly in Philly, but like I live like right in that area, right there. You feel me? PA bite life, Philly bite life, you feel me? They in the building. We just gonna dive right into it. Now, I'ma say twenty twenty two. Um, I seen one of the biggest moments in your life was when you got into an accident. You feel me? Yeah. And that really, that set you back, like, that set you back a little minute. But you came back, like, you would have never even thought, you feel me, you was, you feel yeah. you had to take a little break. Yeah. So go uh -huh. ahead and just, just fill, it, just fill us in on that, man. All right, uh... It was like a it was like a bad situation because like it was a whole lot going on. Like my boy, um I had two of my homeboys pass away. Uh they was on their way to their boy's funeral and they was in that car line or whatever. Long live Tata. Long live Tata. Real long shit. Live long live Tata. Tata. Hell yeah. Long live bees too, man. But yeah. Long live bees. So, so they was in that situation, you know, that shit happened. And then um, from there, we was just trying to, like, turn up for them for that reason. Like, you know what I mean? And, bro, I was getting gas off my chest, bro. I was feeling great on the bike. Like, just to let that stress off my head, you know what I mean? So... I was doing great on like having my way on the bike for me, you know, like, and so then we had, uh, his funeral was coming up. Tata's funeral was coming up. Mm. So we got that. We, uh, went up to, went up to that. And then we drove in a car first. Cause we were like, yeah, we don't know how it's going to be with cops. You know what I mean? Right. We drove up with cops and then, when they were taking Tai Tai over to the burial site, and that was when we were like, man, fuck it, we're going to pull the bikes out. We out. So um, we pulled the bikes out, and, you know, we was just trying to be in all in good spirits, everything. So we pulled up, you know, had our time over there, and then from there, it was just like, it's still in our head, you know what I mean? So right. we, we was out. And we did a little like city lap and then we went over to like the strip, just chill out because you know, we was going through that. So me and my friend, we, we was just talking about tuning. We was tuning mm -hmm. uh, and stuff. I mean like, man, you gotta be in it all the way down the strip. Like da 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 da. So we was like, man, who got the longest tune? So we were just going up and down the strip like da 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 The whole strip. 30 seconds, you know, like regular shit. Right. And I was just in that mode, bro. Like the video of like me crashing, I was just tuning na, 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 all the way down the strip. And like, if you guys know about tuning, I'm not going to say like, this is for everyone. Like this was just like my thing. Like I was just so focused on tuning. I wasn't worried about nothing else. I, I was you. tuning. I wasn't you looking was around. Was locked in. Yeah. So I'm just breaking that bitch. I was breaking it. And then, um, so I was breaking it. And the, the sun was like, it was hot. It was like 100 degrees or something that day, too. So I was already like, I didn't eat that day. So, you know, that plays a role too with like passing out everything. So I don't know directly if I passed out or what, but I was tuning down the strip, you know, I was just breaking my wrist and I didn't see a car that was in front of me. And as I was just tuning, I was in like third gear, just breaking it. And if you know third gear, that is like, that's a crazy tune. Right. So yeah, so I was breaking it in third gear down the strip. And then, boom, I just smacked the car. Smacked it harder, too. And you ain't, so, like, you ain't even see any, know that bitch was in front of you. Bro. Shit crazy. 
and it's crazy because like can you tell us what was the out of all the injuries from that which one hurt the most like what like what was like what was you fucked up at still to this day my teeth the the teeth and shit Uh uh-huh like some came out yeah i lost um, i lost 12 12 damn yeah yeah 12 12 teeth came out your mouth in your accident yeah i broke my bitches i broke my jaw too i fractured my nose uh bless i broke i fractured my pelvis damn yeah they cut me open like no, the main thing that we can say about that is thank God, nigga. Thank God, you bless. Real shit. Here. Yo, people was praying for me. Is. People was praying for me, bro. That yeah, shit was, was working, bro. I was praying for you, man. Hell yeah, I promise you that shit was working, bro. Cause I recovered so quick. I recovered so quick, bro. And then you 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 had you still had the helmet on, right? Yeah, I had the half Imagine. helmet on though. Imagine you ain't had that on though. Yeah, no, nah, I would have died. I ain't gonna lie. Real shit. They told cooked. me that. You would have been cooked if you ain't had that helmet on. Because you know, like I was wearing that little ass helmet. So my parents, you know, when they're in the hospital and shit, and like I'm like basically dead on the bed, you know what I mean? Right. They're like, damn, he had that shitty ass helmet on, you know. Yeah. And the doctor was like, Thank God they ha- he had that helmet on at all because he would have been gone. Real shit without that helmet, Lord, that's would've been cooked. Yeah, how you love. That's crazy, yo. <laughs> yo. So next topic, my man Stefan. We seen you had to go through getting some of the hardest bikes stolen, bro. Man. All right, look, you don't gotta go, you feel me, into too many details that you don't wanna go into, but just give us the all around, you feel me, just you feel me? Just the all over overall about that, man. First of all, all right, all right look, we're going to start off like this. I want to know, what's the three bikes that we got took in, man? What's the three oh, bikes, man? man? The bike that I crashed that sent me to the Gulag, my YZ125. Um, I also got my CR85 stolen. That pup was so nice, bro. That was the cleanest CR85 I rode. You got it? I never rode a CR eighty five. That bitch was hard. Oh, that good. Yeah. And then um I had a YZ four fifty F twenty seventeen, the Kickstart. The last year the Kickstart one. And they took that one too. Damn. Bro, all right, so look. Fresh out the hospital. If you had if you had to say if you feel like you could do one thing to change that situation, what you feel like you could have did? anything change that situation um it's a lot to me i feel like i should have moved way better i'm gonna keep it being like i should have moved way smarter but to handle that like that situation i feel like i should have had like locks for real on them bikes yeah (coughs) type shit yeah but yeah man i just want to say on that topic, at the end of the day, same thing with the other with the accident situation, man. You still alive. Real God shit. bless, man. God um, bless, man. It could have been it could have been anything, bro. Thieves do anything. You could have been going down there and then y'all get into an altercation type shit because they got caught type shit. You feel me? Anything could have happened. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's materialistic things. We can't take us with us. You got your life. That's all that matter, man. God yeah, bless, no. and you feel me? You just gotta keep it going. Real All shit. right, so look, so I want to know, how do you feel? All right, that's what I'm gonna say. Being as being one of the people who really is deep into the dirt bikes and deep into the pedal bikes at the same time, because a lot of people that's deep into both, but it's not that many who really deep into yeah. both like like it's like you feel me they separate yeah so definitely. i just want to say because a lot of people got different like viewpoints of the shit like a lot of people look at it like all right the dirt bike the dirt bikes is cool 
the dirt bikes yeah. is more lit at a point because it's like the pedal bikes be getting dry sometimes. But at the same time, the pedal bikes is what really is more so taking you to a career type shit or can get you some money type shit. So I just want to feel like, what's your, like, how do you feel as though, like, the difference between the two? Like, what you feel like would be better? It's like, I'm not going to lie. Have your time on the pedal bikes. Because, like, once you get good, like, have fun on them dirt bikes, mm -hmm. you don't want to pedal no more. Like, it's like, damn, if I got to go back to the pedal bike, like, damn, I got to put this effort in the pedal. You know what I mean? Like, okay. It's a drain. <laughs> shit, I be feeling like that. And I don't even ride dirt bikes yet. Yeah. But no. It's like as much as even like pedal bikes, you know, it helps with your health, whatever, you know what I mean? Like keeps you healthy, all that. But it still be training. <laughs> Look, how you feel is though, like the people who is on the pedal bikes, like it's a it's a big debate between people who ride for a sponsorship and people who ride for the fun. You feel me? That's how I look at it. Like, you feel me? It's no, I don't got no problem with people that's chasing the sponsor, but it just don't let it make you. You feel me? A lot of people let those yeah. things make mm -hmm. them for real. Like, yeah, you know I mean, like, I don't know. Like, I don't mean, I ain't trying to sound like Andrew Tate and them, but you really can't let nobody control you, though, real shit. It's like, you supposed to ride to achieve your goals. You know what I mean? Okay. But like you don't let that make you. Like you don't. You you try you try to achieve that, but you don't need to like put everything separate beside like you don't need to just make that your main thing. Cause like if you're riding for enjoyment, then like things happen naturally usually. And well, um... you just you just get that talent over time. And then usually people just catch on to that. What year did you get sponsored by Collective? 2020? I'm going to say 2020. Was you with any other companies before that? Was you with SE? Yeah. You was? Mm-hmm. If, if you had to be honest, and it don't matter what company, no matter... Out of every bike you rode, what bike you honestly feel like feel the best? We in the pedal bike situation, right? Yeah. Um, all right, so for, like, getting through, like, cutting up, like, you know, just swerving that bitch. The C100, definitely. I'm not even going to lie. Like, right. that bike is great. But for like combos, you know, if you like just want to do tricks, hop around, stuff like that, I like the beast mode. That's my favorite bike. Bet. That's a bet. If you had to name three other people in bike life who you feel like is really holding it down, like in terms of like, terms of like, I don't know, like, make, like, making this a community you feel me like you got some people that's doing their thing but they just be in their own lane then you got some people who like really giving an influence i feel like you one of the people who really give an actual influence on like the entire bike life type shit like who else you got is though really holding it down i got one one way Corey. of course you know he really like Corey. started that for me so you know what i mean like oh, yeah. of course me and that um cz films he got a huge like Hell yeah. Good um, influence down in like South Florida area to around the world for real. Like, Hell yeah. You know I mean? And then maybe put it on for his city too. Like, okay. Out of all the cities, what's, all right, what's your top two favorite cities to ride the dirt bike set? Like the cities that you've been to? Baltimore and New York. <laughs> Probably like outside, like riding in my area, like you know what I mean. Like yeah. outside, 
riding in that area, I would say uh, Baltimore and then New York. Yeah, he fuck with us. He fuck with Baltimore. Yeah, yeah. Bro, that, that's really the best place to ride a dirt bike. It's just, like, if you're, like, bike life related, like, yeah, that's the best place. Ride a dirt bike. It's just, I feel like it's like, it's more so the vibe of it, like, just the, um, and like, bro, it's so much, and then, and then, like, knowing the history and shit, like, just knowing, yeah. like, if you really the history, with the history, yes, like, if you, if you know everything and shit, it's like, damn, mm -hmm. like, I'm really here, it's really Baltimore, bro, real shit. shit, like, no bullshit, real shit, like, how many subs you at on YouTube? Um, roughly about to hit 85k. Yeah, 85k. Man, how that shit pay? You ain't gotta tell me exactly how much, but that shit cool. Right. Like, all right. Like, like if you pull like, if I'm averaging like, I'll put it like this. K, like, I got my K my range. bikes taken. I got my bikes taken, and I was able to like go get them three. You know what I mean? Like. Mm get three more you feel me not brand new of course but you know like good you know good bites mm -hmm. and when you start doing the youtube shit it was really like another thing like Corey influenced me to do it because like it was working like it was working at the time bro and that shit was literally like 20 beginning of 2018 like the very beginning of 2018 I was just like, you know what? I'm going to actually do this. You know what I mean? So I was like, all right, I'm going to produce like three videos a week. You know what I mean? Right. And then Corey was like, it just kept like, it picked up. It picked up. And that was pedal bikes still. Like I wasn't influenced with the dirt bikes, any of that. And it picked up. And then Corey was like, man, you got to do this shit every day, every day. And it's going to work. I'm like, all right. I was working a job. I'm like, man, how am I gonna do that? He's like, just right. make time for it. You know what I mean? So I'll bring my computer to work. You know what I mean? Like on my breaks, edit something up, post it, quick, quick, like, oh, yeah. yeah. All right, look, yeah, you got anything you want? Like, you feel me? Top, you want to put out there? Just talk about. No, I, I would just like encourage. I would just encourage people to like, you know, if you got like that dream. You know, mm -hmm. people say it's impossible. You just gotta try it. You know what I mean? Ain't shit impossible. Yeah. Nigga, ain't. No, we gonna wrap that up, man. Shout out my boy One Way Stefan. We appreciate yeah. you for your time, man. First already. Yeah, excuse me. First episode of Craig TV was a success for real. I'm gonna put all of his links and socials in the description down below. You got any last messages before we close out? Man, chase them dreams, you know. Literally. You just got to do that shit. Yeah. And you can't care, care what people think about your dreams, any of that. What 